So the folks at Blender Foundation have just recently announced that the extension platform is now in beta and the extension platform is something they've been talking about for a while now and it's pretty interesting to see that this has moved from alpha to beta and now almost ready for deployment. So extensions basically are Blender add-ons, themes and also potentially anything that can extend Blender's native functionality which includes key maps, assets and so on. An extension is more or less an archive containing the files and a manifest with metadata such as licenses, copyright, manifest, useful link and so on. And extensions can either be manually installed in Blender as of now or you can simply do that by using the preference window. This is currently going to be useful and available for Blender 4.2. And if you simply go over to the link in the description, it will bring you right here where we can see the blog that talks about the extension platform beta being released, as it's right on track for the official availability in the upcoming Blender 4.2, the LTS, which will be released sometime in July. Now we've seen a few things that might be coming over to Blender sometime, but the extension seems to be one of those things that they're super proud about. And for those who like to take a look at this, or probably you like to try it, you can simply go over to blender.org, go over to download, go all the way down to where you get to download the Blender Experimental. And right here, you can download Blender 4.2 the Alpha. This is currently available for Windows, Mac, and also for Linux. And with Blender 4.2 the Alpha open right here, if you simply go over to edit, go over to preference, you would notice that we now have extensions. So the idea of having add-ons used to be here and now that is no longer what we have. So you can simply go ahead and start installing extensions as much as you want. Right here, you can choose if you like to install themes or if you like to install add-ons. And of course, if you like to see some more stuff that has to do with the experimental stuff, you can also go over to the interface section, turn on the developer extra, go over to experimental, turn on the extension development utility. And from here, you can test out the brand new extension features that will be coming. However, if you simply run this for the first time, it will notify you that it requires internet access. The reason is because the repo is online and we're going to talk about that soon and it simply needs internet access to update and also provide new extensions in form of add-on and also teams. So from here, you can install as many things as you want. So whether you're thinking about installing add-ons or teams, you can simply go ahead and install them. And to anyone that has an update, you would also notice that it says update right here and you can simply click from here and update it. And with this, you can go in and download as many plugins, themes, and also interesting assets add-ons that you can work with. And it's just pretty interesting how this one works. There are some add-ons that doesn't really seem to install. Like in one of those cases, we did find one that wasn't really installing. But for the most part, you will be able to install as many of these things as possible. You can install themes if you want. You can install add-ons. And you can just simply knock this out of the pack. It's just pretty interesting and very, very seamless. And of course, if you'd like to see the extensions before you download them, you can simply go over to the link in the description that'll bring you right over to the extension, the blender.org page, where you'll be able to see these extensions yourself. So if there's a particular extension you're looking for, you can click and you can read up on the extension, see what and what this extension can do, and you can get the extension. But one thing which the folks at Blender Foundation have said, which I don't necessarily think actually works, is if you click on get the extension or you get the add-on, you're supposed to be able to click, drag, and drop. Actually, let's try this with a team. I think a team would actually be more useful. If you go over to the teams section and say, for example, we would like to get a midnight theme, something that is a bit more dark. Okay, something like the midnight round looks good. So if we click on get theme, if we click, drag, and drop, it is supposed to change this, but that isn't happening. So. Let's go ahead and check this again. So if we go over to experimental, this is turned on. That doesn't seem to be the case. Like it is not working at this point. So the best way which I would think that you can get themes like this, or maybe get these add-ons at this point, is to simply go over to the extensions and get it. If we go over to the themes as well and we check, you would notice we don't have the midnight round. We do have the midnight blue, which is actually a very good one. So just in case you haven't seen that, that's actually a very good one. But the midnight round doesn't seem to be here. For you to get that, I would suggest you just simply go ahead and let's just type in the word round and we're going to switch this to teams and then click on install and that is what we are looking for so at this point if you're thinking about using this please stick to this extension as this currently doesn't seem to be doing 
a lot of work in terms of the drag and drop functionality that they're trying to implement. And speaking about add-ons, there's this beautiful add-on, which I'll definitely suggest that you check out. Actually, most of the add-ons that they have here are super useful, very useful. The bulk asset tool, very, very useful. The light painter, super useful. There is one that is so good, and I think you should check it out. It is free, by the way, so you can simply go ahead and get it. Although, again, you have to stick to Blender 4.2, which is not completely stable at this point, but that's the trade-off we have to do until this is released. And the non-destructive modeling toolkit is what we're talking about. This is a wonderful tool. Like the fact that this is free is just one of those things that makes you say, okay, that's interesting. So this is very useful for hard surface. It's very, very good for hard surface. It has a very wonderful documentation. So if you go over to the documentation section, so you can go ahead, read it up. If you like to do some beveling, some, you know, Boolean, some extrusion, replicating the form, simplify, shading, scenes, packaging, utilities, viewport, all the things are right here. And it is called the ND, which is the non-destructive modeling toolkit. Especially if you're into hard surface, it's one of the nice ones. From the add-on section, you can also choose different add-ons you're looking for. Say maybe you're looking for some stuff for rigging, you can check that out. For tracking, you can also check that out. For baking, you know, there's just a, a few things that you can get right now. This is still in its beta. It is still being populated. And if you do have add-ons that you would like to submit, you can definitely go over to the upload section, log in and upload your add-on. Add-ons that are waiting approval are right here. Most of these approved ones are from the folks at Blender Foundation. And of course you can tell with the names and uh, these are nice. Meanwhile, these other ones are still awaiting approval and hopefully they will be available. Now there's one thing which I think I would like to suggest to the folks at Blender Foundation, just in case. There is the teams and there is the add-on. And sometimes you just want to stay here where it says all. There is no indication that you are either looking at the team or you're looking at an add-on. That would be so useful. It would be really nice to have a little bit of a pictorial notification that shows if you're looking at an add-on or if you're looking at the team. So there are some names that kind of falls in between add-ons and team names and you probably can tell what you're looking at and having that notification maybe a little bit of a sign or maybe a little bit of an icon that just shows you that okay this is an add-on and maybe this is a team that would make a lot of sense meanwhile if you go over to the repository you can add multiple repos so if you have like a uniform resource link which leads you to a platform or maybe a repo you can put that here and if you do have repos in your local disk you can also add your local repos right here over here you can choose to install from disk so previously we used to go over to edit go over to preference click on install now you have to click on this tiny button here and click on install from disk i'm not so sure about that particular design but then that is what we have and here of course you can also install legacy add-ons which i believe are add-ons from previous older versions of blender that can still be useful in present versions of blender so you can simply go ahead and check that out if you like to install multiple stuff you can have all of them selected and you can simply use this very tiny icon and install all mac again i would also suggest that maybe the design for this can be redone so we can just have like a quick button to just install from disk rather than clicking on this button and then going over to disk because most people will definitely download stuff of places like blender market and also from github and they'll probably like to just simply click on the button to install it rather than doing a two-step button thing which again i kind of understand what this looks like but for the most part, this is just my humble suggestion. So this is it, extensions are now here. And of course, if you'd like to see more about these extensions and probably you like to read up on the extensions that you love to play with, then you can simply go over to the link in the description that'll bring you right here where you can see all of this. And for those who like to read more about the Blender extension, you can simply go over to the proposed note where you can see all of the things that were said prior to the extension coming. And you can also read more about the brand new extension tools and also see more of the stuff that are coming over to Blender 4.2. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.